George Washington. She averaged 2.3 points, 2.7 rebounds, and an assist per game. Three-point shot on the money right there from Grace Berger. Especially from the three-point line as this one almost goes out of bounds right there, but able to save it was Grace Berger. And the foul is called and count the basket. So that will be a potential three-point play. Rebounded for Brenna Wise and Indiana. Now Ali Pat Bergen transition, stuck under the bucket, out to a top of the key three from Berger. It rattles home. Grace has early five points, and Indiana's got the first seven of the ball game. Wise keeps it alive with an offensive board. Indiana can reset. Now back to Grace Berger. Berger drives around the defender, scoops it up, and scores. And another counterattack opportunity for Jackson State. Luck. Oh, and a swat right there. Well, let's take a look at it here. She's able to get there and just great placement of her hand there to get the block. One thing I want to touch on before you ask me, what does a press do to a team who's not used to this Big Ten play? And Jalen Penn hits. Very tenuous journey to Bloomington, to say the least. Started at Notre Dame, suffered multiple ACL injuries. Now in her second year with Indiana. Off the block, Penn down the other end. Off glass, count that baby in a foul. And Indiana has been shooting awfully well here this year. Fourth in the country. Here's Berger. Will take the first shot and gets the friendly roll. Such a great take from Grace Berger. Wede with the first turnover for UCLA. And as you see here, Grace Berger just nice and smooth with that behind the back, through contact and with the finish. Selves after turning it over. Berger stepping in the passing lane. Michigan State now suddenly getting sloppy with the basketball. What a move behind the back. And Berger takes it for two. The leading score for Michigan State. And the takeaway. Here's Berger. Off to the races. Has Pat Berger if she wants to use her. Doesn't need her. That's what Indiana needed to finish the half. The five on the shot clock. Berger trying to find space. Tough shot. How graceful was that? This is what you need from your your sophomore leader, Grace Berger, showing how smooth that mid range. Sanders oh, wow. gets around. Berger with the help block and takes a timeout with 35.3 on the clock. Berger knocks it down. Under a minute to go in the quarter. Odin had it batted out again by Berger. Allen chugging ahead in the front court. Jory Allen, easy layup. Just when her team needed her to drop a bucket in. They've taken an 11 to six advantage here at home against Iowa. And the takeaway, here's Berger on the push. They got a little bit of an advantage. Berger takes it all the way in for two. One of the top defenders in the country when it comes to getting steals and forcing turnovers. Berger a three-point try. They're all falling. Indiana's on fire right now. And if you're wondering, well, I've seen that one 2, two defense from Maryland even last year and, and in years past as Berger gets the pull-up. Now back-to-back -back buckets for Indiana. When is it going to be my turn to play? You're over there celebrating. You have that great energy going. Berger falls there for Berger as the seconds wound down at the end of the third quarter. Ten left to shoot. Burger twirling oh, and boy. hits. You want to talk? I mean, Burger. that's what 50,000 shots a summer does. Hatberg jumps in for the rebound. Burger with space to shoot and knocks it down. Seamless. Burger has graced us with some jumpers in this second quarter. The pull up in transition is good. Hatberg to Penn. Hoosiers up six. Trailed by as many as 16 in this game. Berger, why not? Grace Berger, silky oh, smooth. Oh, man. Uh, when you're hot, you're hot. Five seconds on the shot clock. Here's Berger with six to shoot. She pulls it and hits. Oof. Verbeek covered by Wise over to Alili. Down low to Kane, and Kane lost it. Couldn't get her hand on a good defense from Holmes. Quickly on the other side now. Brenna Wise puts it up and in. So Illinois should not feel bad if Indiana gets to a super, super hot start. 
And Indiana tacks on another one. Yeah, like I, I mentioned in the pregame, you know, trying to keep people fresh for the fourth quarter, good idea to rotate early on, especially when it's been such a back and forth, you know, one score game so far. Leah Brown back in for the Huskers. Now Berger, the jumper falls. He can't get it into her. Berger instead takes a contested jumper from the elbow with two on the shot clock and hits it. Except calling the games. <laughs> On four for four shooting. Another poor shot at the other end for the Colonels. And up running the floor, there's Mackenzie Holmes. Five for five. Just six players overall, but really Armstrong, Brown, and Omar, the only players last year that played more than 15 minutes. As Grace Berger finds the nylon from downtown, and the Hoosiers extend the lead. Hoosiers still aren't hitting those threes. They need to try to generate some points in the paint. It's Berger driving. She's going to draw the foul, and she's going to get the bucket. Like they're, they're clearly listening to you, Griffin. But it's Tennessee who are in the bonus, but it's a great move here. And, and that's the aggressiveness, not afraid of the contact. Indiana was scared of the contact in that. Kane so far being left in the game with the two personals, and just about four minutes left to play. Here's the takeaway. Berger to Pepper. For Daniel Hillary, top of the key on Jasmine Powell. The transfer from George Mason. Grace Berger from deep. The key likely for Indiana is going to try to get out and transition. Extra pass to Berger, who buries another one, and Indiana starting to pull away early. Benzin. Aaron on the pass, and now Indiana's got numbers. Three on one. Pepper keeps and scores. She lowers her shoulders and gets her hips and shoulders by defenders, and this time she just does a nice job handling a little bit of contact. Good handle, so the trailer Pat Bird bypasses the three, chest pass to Berger, backdoor cut for Worth, then dodges the defender, spins it off the glass, and Indiana has a 17-16 lead. But I think it's a very crucial point in the game for Wisconsin because oh, yeah. things can get away from them as a nice steal is done by, there by Berger, fakes the pass, and gets the layup. And what an impressive quarter defensively for Indiana. Berger at the horn, why not? That's an exclamation point as Indiana holds Purdue to three points in the second quarter and builds a 17-point lead. Well, times this afternoon, Grace Berger at the end of the clock, pretty fitting, hitting that three. Berger, top of the key, book it. Really impressive stuff for Berger and the Hoosier. Feels like something spectacular is going to happen. Pull him off the mark. Yeah, you feel like she's about to bust somebody's ankles. That's a great pass down low and exactly what the Hoosiers need. I don't know how I feel about that foul, but let's go back and look at this terrific pass. You see, Pulliam, as soon as she starts to pull up, that's because Berger faked. She might have looked at the rim. Then back to Indiana. Berger driving and a chance at the three-point play. Just a strong take. You see that help side come over, and she's fearless going to that rim. That was an attempt for Alicia Smith to go six for six from the floor. Instead, it's her first miss of the night. And quickly, Berger goes all the way down the court. Couple of misses from the outside. First one by Clark, then by Martin. Indiana's made six straight shots. Make it seven. Half of this game as they attacked the paint off of the drive. Grace Berger, hard to handle with that strength and size getting to the rack when she makes her decision to get there. The established offensive post up. So now will be Mackenzie Holmes' defensive assignment right now here on Cash. Indiana looking to push. Parker hanging, hooping, and one for Grace Berger. Grace Berger is playing no games in transition. This one, she put some cheese on it, Lisa. Oh, all net right there with contact. Sat out last season. Redshirt junior now. Berger knocks it down a free. Grace Berger. Five to shoot. Berger. Big make for Grace Berger. 
He'll inbound, sideline left. Berger. Oh boy. Tosses over the top. Holmes catches, turns, oh. and it's going to be good at the buzzer. Well executed play there by Indiana to end the second quarter. And Pat Bird corrals. Grace Berger, they'll count it, and a chance at the three piece. Especially when coming down running. Watch Berger, just a little bit, just a little stop and change, absorbs the contact, strength to finish. Lisa and no turnover, so she was definitely on her A game against Penn State for sure. Got a career high 19 points in that game, and Berger going to work and taking it right to the rack. Iowa's got six straight makes. Here's Indiana looking for an answer. They leave Berger wide open for three. There was one second on the shot clock, and she delivers. Cardano Hillary throwing that head back on a little contact, but also made contact with her team. Two-point lead for Indiana. The Hoosiers trying to force the issue and stay in front. Open Mackenzie Holmes inside like clockwork. And under the basket, we'll take another look here. Finishes with the left. Indiana in front by four, midway through this third period. She has the ability to turn the corner, great ball handling skills. And back the other way, Indiana not wasting any time. It's Berger's first point. Berger trying to get a half court shot off. I thought she took an extra dribble. Did she have enough time? Yes, she did. She got that shot off. It looks good to me. Grace Berger, she wants fries with that, guys. What a way to go into half. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Cardano Hillary trying to find someone. The Hoosier is struggling to find some space. Berger pulls up and knocks it down. Outside movement by the Hoosiers. Pass down low to Holmes, and she just lays that one in. Great court vision there. That's what every coach loves to see. Five on the shot clock as Berger. Mid-range game. It doesn't get much better than that. Can't be one and done. So they just have to stay in attack mode to try to get themselves some good looks and touches. That's another good look for Holmes underneath. The ball dumped now, now to Alexa Golbe in the post. Kick out, Berger for three, and she drills it. Grace Berger for three, and we get a timeout. Well, I think you have to really play some tough competition. I mean, the Big Ten has six teams in the top 25 or receiving votes in the top 25. Hoosiers got the first bucket of the half. They lead by eight. That's their largest lead of the game. Berger down the baseline, reverse layup, good. Turns and faces Holmes, hands it off to Wagner, gets a screen from Jacobson. Wagner shot blocked by McKenzie Holmes. She has five blocks in each of her last two games. She picks one up there. Down the lane, Berger, stutter step, drive, nice move, layup good. Here's eight seconds, and here she goes. Off the bounce to the right side, hangs and fades and hits. Berger pulls up, hits. Good read. The Hoosiers come in a perfect 3-0 and in the Big Ten. Wisconsin seeking its first conference win. Here's a drive, slithering through the lane and finishing with the left hand. It's Grace Berger of Indiana. She's able to use a quick first step and accelerate to the rim. Inside to Goulbe, who has been targeted a lot in this first quarter. Her stands up out of her stance, and then bada bing, bada boom, high at the basket on the other. It's Pepper. It's Berger. Big shot time again. Yes! Berger in the paint, Indiana leads. Timeout, Purdue. To end up game situations, understanding time and score, and just showing the poise it takes to make this kind of move, stays under balance. Holman. 
Brown trying to stop her. Good help side defense from Berger. Berger with the difficult move, finished with her offhand. She's just always <laughs> under control. Berger singing it down fast for the Hoosiers. Papper with a wide open three is going to sink that one. She has five early points for the Hoosiers here, all five points. Indiana. Air ball. Sometimes you got to make those in game adjustments. Berger, that's a shot. Made away jumper. Leading score for the Hoosiers. Making her second career start in back to back games. She's a player that's definitely on the rise. Her along with Adalia McKenzie for Illinois, on the rise. Great look by Grace Berger. Grace Berger has been red hot, going to work on Hageman. Draws contact and hits. Grace Berger. Or McNeil drops it off to Berger. Berger drives in. A bucket for Gracie Berger. The control is truly unbelievable by Berger. Poked away by Cardano Hillary. Gives it up to Berger. Spins off the window. Counted at the foul. Starts on the defensive end. Veronica Bergen got knocked over, but then Berger coming in, staying composed. I mean, that is a big time play for the senior from a momentum standpoint at this point of the game. She's able to. The buildup that Caitlin Clark does, but she can get it done. Order the step back. Finally, Grace Berger gets on the board today. Pat Berger, no look pass. Berger, step through. Left hander. She had not started a game in her career before this year, and she has really stepped into a larger role for Lisa Bluter's Iowa Hawkeyes. And then a bigger picture as Berger drives in and gets the N1 to get for Iowa earlier in the season. Grace Berger has not been missing, and it's a good thing because she can do lots of strong things in the paint. Keep an eye on Berger. She nearly missed a half-court shot at the end of the first quarter. She gets inside this time, uses the glass. And a huge bucket for Indiana to extend the lead to 11 at halftime. No transition defense on that play and allow Grace Berger to get right down into the lane and do what Grace Berger does best. Berger stepping through against Benzin, covered a lot of space and gets that to go. Five on the shot clock. Berger. That's your dagger. Control of the ball. <laughs> Handle this right here. I mean, look at that and finish it. Incredible. Yeah, you're probably you, right. You, you, you've kind of been on him a little bit, so I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice feed to Goulbe for two. Owusu in the lane loses it. Berger's running. A three on nothing break for Grace Berger. Ashley Owusu loses the handle, and Grace Berger gets a wide open layup in train. She's multifaceted, but yes, that mid range is where her bread is butter. Three seconds left for Berger against Nikola Jakova, but Mark on that shot over the center. For the Buckeyes, Grace Berger, though, that's my favorite, the one legged. And your balance, those are the things that you need to continue to work on as you're coming back from injury. Broken up by Cardano Hillary in stride. That's a touchdown. Hatfield goes by Park. Sonano helps over. Shot clock nine for Berger. So composed. Caitlin Clark. Grace Berger again. So good. At the step. And hits it right before the buzzer. Confidence in Grace Berger. The up and under step through. Finished with the left hand. Hoosiers able to. A couple of possessions to get their offense running. Berger with the basketball. Screen from another transfer. That's Alyssa Geary out of Providence. And Berger's three ball is good. Berger's got all seven points. The three pointer off the mark. Rebound Scalia up the floor. Berger. Berger gets inside the arc. Dumps it down the Holmes left block. That's good. That's what, I mean, one of the best wins against anyone so far in the nation, winning at Tennessee. So that one is good by Grace Berger. Her foot was on the line, so that was a two. Hoosiers up 19, their largest lead of the game. 
Pass inside, stolen away by Berger. Three on two. Berger will take it herself and bank it in. Timeout, Quinnipiac with 130. Coach McEwen has been looking to her more, giving her some spots in that starting lineup, and she's having a good day. Berger up and in, plus the foul. Grimacing at that play and the looking back. Once she gets her on her hips, she knows she's going to lean in there to go for the ball if she takes her time. Indiana tries to take some time off of that shot clock. They're not looking to trap. And... Berger down to Holmes, and finally they get into their leading scorer, Mackenzie Holmes. As well, the matchup with Holmes. Parrish comes out of the game, Scalia back in. Berger, good find to Holmes, who's just dominating inside. 12 turn turnovers in the first half, and they haven't really been able to get anything. It's a big point there, at least to get something back in the net for the Illini. So hopefully, hopefully for them, they'll be able to feed off that. Nice move inside by Grace Berger. Took advantage of Makaira Cook's over pursuit. Her confidence is through the roof. Kim Burns and Rico said, you always see the most improvement between your freshman and sophomore season. It's true for her. Beautiful look inside. Grace Berger. Berger. Baseline. Shakes her defender and leaves it in. Play of Grace Berger. Sticks it down low. She's going to pass it out. No, she's going to stick it in the weight room. Grace Berger flexing all the muscles for the Hoosiers. They're back on top after the first. Rutgers with only eight players in total. Something to, to definitely watch for. Berger finds Parrish cutting inside. Indiana leads early as Berger fires a fadeaway over Smichael and scores. Skip pass over to Grace Berger. Gonna use the screen from Holmes. Nice pass inside. Holmes with another spin. That's the third time she's got that to go. Who's just showing up? Mackenzie Holmes, look at this. Let me have some of this. Whoop! I'll take a little spin cycle and put that thing in. Two and a half, three bodies in her space on every single catch below that mid post area. What a block from Berger at the opposite end. What the two teams needed to do, and for Indiana, get the ball inside. Here comes Grace Berger. The unquestioned leader for Indiana, and she rolls it down. We've yet to see her take a shot tonight, but she's averaging 18 a game over the last three for IU. First year Oregon transfer on the floor. Berger coming in the foul. Grace under fire. Grace Berger right here putting you in the spin cycle, bringing it back the other way, gets tagged on the arm on the way up. What a strong finish with this execution. And that's what's interesting about the conference this year, Stephanie, is that not only are we talking about player of the year in the conference, but national player of the year. She's in that conversation as Berger gets the and one to start off the scoring for the Hoosiers. Decision making, when to pull up in that mid range where we know she's so deadly, and here just attacking, getting to the rim, not just getting to the rim, but evaluates, almost loses it. It is Berger for three. Game. It was too late. It didn't matter. But look at this hustle play by Mackenzie Holmes. One second left on the shot clock. Tapped away by Berger. More McNeil down to Holmes. Coming in the foul. Really tough shot and well defended by Chloe Moore McNeil. Moore McNeil just stayed down on Brown's fake as well. Berger stops. Starts, rolls it off the backboard. Back on with an and one. Reduced defense. She just comes over the free throw line, stays patient, goes in. Look, Abby Ellis is 5'6. Grace Berger is six feet tall, so she's able to get the pump fake and then shoot right over Ellis to get a clean look at the basket. For Iowa, that came over one minute and 24 seconds. That's like the blink of an eye. Coming out of that timeout, Iowa in a zone defense, but it doesn't change what they're doing on the offensive end. Not nearly as much of a burden as it was for the Spartan opponent yesterday. Nebraska. Berger with the shot and the foul. She's a senior. She's been in this position many times. Once again, getting her in the post, she is elite. But they have to buckle down and lock in on the defensive end. That has been their identity. She wants them to get back to it. 
Grace Berger doesn't often look for the three-point opportunities, but she knocks down her first. first. Team honoree, the fourth time in Hoosier history. Hey, you're wide open. You got to take...